Prosperity 2020 is the largest business-led movement to enhance education in our state's history, and one of the main focuses is on the importance of STEM education. That's also one of the main platform positions of Miss America, who joins us today in studio to discuss STEM education. Uh, when she's not called Miss America, it's Mallory Hagan, and we appreciate you being with us today. Thank you for having me. I want to talk to you about STEM education since that's something that's been so important to you and something we've had such a focus on here in our state, and especially as a business community. But why has it been one of the more important issues for you? Well, it's been an important issue of the Miss America organization because I think that a lot of people don't realize the Miss America organization is the largest provider of scholarships to young women in the world. We make available over $45 million in cash and in-kind scholarships each year. So um, promoting education is something that we are not new to, but promoting STEM is something that we've uh, latched onto in the last couple of years. And it's incredibly important because we want the young women of our nation to continue to help our nation become leaders. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need STEM education in order to do that. And you spend a lot of your time meeting with young people and particularly young women to encourage them to make STEM education a priority. But interestingly enough, you said earlier today that math and science weren't subjects that came naturally to you. No, they were not. Um, it's something that I really struggled with as a, as a teenager and as a middle schooler. Um, and it's something that, you know, like we say, often is just kind of accepted. If you're not good at it, then that's okay. You're, you're a girl. You're not supposed to be good at math and science. Mm -hmm. And I think that, you know, like I said, too often we accept that from our students and we don't encourage them to continue to um, to push through and to to really do what needs to be done in order to make that something that they're good at and so something that I do when I meet kids and I, I, I hope that it helps I, I think that it does is I just encourage them you know I ask them well, what's your favorite subject in school and um, hoping to hear that math or science is one of them but if it's not then I try to encourage that those are cool things to be a part of and um, I try to engage the conversation about what you can do if you're a part of those mm -hmm. those career fields. You mentioned the cool factor, and I remember, you know, as a, as a little boy growing up, I wanted to be a professional athlete, and mm -hmm. I think in part because I could see professionals doing that. Mm -hmm. uh, you had an, uh, an opportunity uh, when you visited uh, a laboratory where they make lipstick, for sure. example, uh, where you got to sort of a glimpse as to how cool a science-related uh, field could be. Absolutely. So uh, Amway is one of our official sponsors of the Miss America organization and they have this incredible makeup line called Artistry and so as an ambassador for Artistry I got to go one day and make my own lipstick, uh, make my own color, put it, you know, put it all together and um, it was just such a, an incredible thing to be a part of and it was live streamed online which was great but the wonderful thing is that the, the lab technician, the scientist who I was working with was a beautiful I mean, gorgeous woman. And so I think that it only reiterated the fact that, you know, we were two women in a laboratory, in a lab coat, doing something science related, but it was making lipstick. It was something that every little girl can relate to. And um, just the fact that we were having a blast while we did it was so incredible. And I kept saying, I wish that I had known that that was something that could have could have come out of me studying or science or math as a kid. As you go around the country and meet with young people uh, and maybe even in particular young women and talk to them about STEM education, do you see the light bulb kind of come on above their heads? Do you see that it's making a difference? Absolutely. I think that, you know, when you hear someone of any any stature to you tell you that you can choose a path that you didn't think was in your realm of possibilities, I think a light bulb comes on for anyone. Um, one of my one of my favorite things um, to do, especially with boys, which I, I know that we're promoting some education with young women, but especially with boys, I mean, I'll ask them, well, what do you want to do when you grow up? And they're like, well, I want to be a professional basketball player. And my response is always, what do you want to do with your brain? Mm -hmm. And I think that reiterating it to kids that being smart is cool and being smart will lead to a successful future and will lead to the monetary gain that you're hoping to achieve out of becoming a professional athlete. I, I think that's where the light bulb comes off, is understanding that it is cool to be smart and that that will lead to a lifetime of success and wealth and all the things that kids these days think that they can achieve by becoming a pro athlete. Mallory Hagan, the reigning Miss America from the great state of New York and also an advocate for STEM education. Thanks for taking some time with us today. Thank you for having me.